uh, it's a crime movie about a robber who um, and his all day life. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he's a he's a very professional robber, and, and the film follows him during his all day life uh, to prepare a job and to do this criminal job and. Uh, and the effects afterwards, and that's the story in general. At, uh, at first I started a totally different story about an uh, undercover cop uh, who, was, uh, who was working as a uh, 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 drug addict area, So, uh, but uh, I, I cancelled uh, after a while, the script because I uh, I didn't like it anymore, um, and I asked myself what I, I really pr a bit too late, of course, but I asked myself what I really prefer in this uh, genre at most, and uh, uh, and um, I found out that it was um, at most. Uh, uh, stories about robbers, uh, which are, which are, uh, yeah, uh, where you can can follow them during their work, uh, and uh, like uh, the stories of uh, Philip Stark, Dan J. Marlowe, or Gary Dishart, or Australian writer, or in several films, in Murder by Contract, uh, perhaps uh, from Ivan Lerner, some films. Um, uh, of Don Siegel, like uh, Charlie Varick, something like this, uh, and this was uh, uh, was stuff which which I I really like since long time ago, and and uh, and yeah, this this was my uh, starting point uh, to develop the new scripts, and and uh, yeah, and it came out like this. So. Yeah, the main character. Um, yeah, you don't know much about him. At least you have no really uh, biography. You just uh, uh, all you get from him is uh, is what he's doing. Uh, uh, are you getting from from his his his, his movements, his actions, and his uh, decisions in the film? But you don't have any. Um, Biography, biography in, in the background and so on, and he have not not even have a forename. It's his last name, uh, Toyan. Um, uh, I, uh, I I liked it to to have a to create such a character where you uh, only have to have to follow his his actions, his movement. Uh, and uh, besides this, you, you have uh, you have no information about his background. So um, um, he decided to be uh, to be to, to be a robber, and and uh, and even if he gets out from prison, he starts there when he uh, where he uh, <coughs> yeah where he ended before he came in, in prison. Uh, so it's. Um, uh, it's it's a kind of uh, yeah it's a kind of decision a kind of uh, uh, more than a choice for me than a, than a destiny at least and and uh, uh, because he's a, he's a very clever guy and and uh, very intelligent he ha uh, normally he would have opportunities to do other stuff but uh, uh, but he chose this kind of job and he doing doing it as a normal job. Yeah, it was very, very clear for me that I like to, uh, that I wanted to play Michel Maticevic, the main main part, um, as part of Trojan. Uh, I, I saw him several times in several German films and uh, liked him a lot. Um, uh, and it was, uh, yeah, I was lucky that, and, and I was uh, was glad that he accepted the uh, uh, script and and. Um, this was uh, in some way fixed during the writing. To, to uh, I had uh, him in mind, uh, Michel Matičević, and afterwards, uh, yeah, I built uh, I built the other characters uh, around him as a center. So and. Um, I worked uh, with Uwe Boom, who was, who was playing the the, uh, the cop, and 
Carolina uh, Eichhorn. Uh, I worked with them in my film before, Vacation, Ferien. Uh, so I, I, I know them a bit. So uh, and uh, they are co completely different roles than they played in the other film. And this, this was interesting for me uh, to, to try a totally different thing with both actors, which I know a little bit. And uh, these three were fixed in, in, in some way and, and, uh, and the other ones came, came after. So. Yeah, I know Reinhold Forschneider since many, many years, but it, and, and we know each other and met each other several times and uh, he's a, a, a uh, DOP of, uh, of a very good friend of mine, Angela Schanelek, she, um, the, uh, and, and uh, I know his work, of course, uh, known it before. Um, yeah, and then uh, Michael Wieslek, the cameraman I, I, uh, with whom I shot the films before, he had, he had an, another big project, but so we, uh, yeah, so I uh, thought about Reinhold and I was very lucky that, uh, that he accepted and, and it was a really good work with him because uh, we had both the same uh, s uh, same ideas about the film uh, and then especially about the fo uh, photography as well um, not to do uh, many uh, uh, tricks with the camera to keep it simple uh, even in the lightning and the frames uh, uh, yeah it was, a, was good to work with him No, it was not easy to f to finance a movie because it's always the same with my films. I don't know why, but uh, that it seems to be very very difficult to to get some money for the film, and and um, and he, we ended up with with very little money at least. We had five hundred thousand uh, euro to shoot the old film, uh, and uh, yeah, and it was not easy to even even to get this money. So uh, that, that's how it is. I have a. I'm still finishing a script. Uh, it's a totally different uh, story. It's a, um, um, it's a kind of western. It's not really western. Um, it was not the main idea to make a western, but uh, it's uh, it's a kind of period movie. It settled uh, in uh, 18. Uh, 98, and it's a story about German immigrants who are uh, living in the states and going from the states to to the to the gold fields to the to the Klondike uh, through uh, horrible inland routes uh, to, through totally unexplored country in Canada. And I found several uh, diaries and photographs, uh, and this are the base for the script. And, and uh, it's a fictional film, and at least, um, and I, yeah, I'm still preparing the script. And afterwards, we're trying to get some money for this project, of course.